Over the last few months, I've been on a mission to build every single Five Nights at Freddy's game in Minecraft. Firstly, we built the original trilogy, then we took a look back in time to Fred Bear's Family Diner, and today we're going to be moving on to the final chapter. Welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's 4 in Minecraft. So now that you're up to speed, today we're going to be building the house from FNAF 4, including a few extra rooms to make it a more realistic house. So today you will see me build and decorate the bedroom and plush traps hallway, because they are the most prominent areas in the game, before we do a little tour at the very end. And I do have to say that this house does contain a small secret deep below the surface. So are you ready? Great! Make sure to like and subscribe and let's get straight into it. Chapter 1, The Bedroom. So the bedroom is our main set piece of this game and is surprisingly simple in design. Just needing two drawers which I couldn't find in a single mod pack by the way. Like how difficult can it be to have two basic white drawers? But anyways, after my one and only FNAF 4 stream, it's very clear. I don't like this game. It's my least favourite in the entire series. Which, it, I think the lore it brings is amazing, but the gameplay is not my cup of tea. That's because of the goddamn audio cues that don't play half of them. But we got a bit carried away there. To finish off the room, I added a small closet in the centre, dotted some toys around the room. Do you think it looks like the game? Comment down below. But now it's time to go to Plush Trap's hallway. Chapter 2, Plush Trap's Hall. Alright, everyone, when you look at this hallway, what do you see? Beautiful wall designs that look like it could be on your nan's wall. That little chair in the centre for whatever goddamn reason. But I want to point your attention to the four rooms that are spread out on either side of the hallway. Now, I believe that these are various rooms for the Afton family, aka Michael, William, Elizabeth and Ma, I mean Mrs. Afton, aka Ballora. Now, before anyone says anything, I believe that the Aftons are divorced and have two separate homes, being the one we see in Midnight Motorist and the FNAF 4 minigames, and the one we see in the actual FNAF 4 gameplay. As by just kind of thinking about it, they have two completely different designs. You can do the you can do the math yourself, but when you look at the crying child's bedroom, it is positioned completely differently in the FNAF 4 minigames and Midnight Motorist compared to how it is positioned in the FNAF 4 gameplay. Play. But on that note, we are finished. What do you think? Do you think it looks like the games? Comment down below yet again. But anyway, it's time to get onto everyone's favourite part of the build, aka the tour. Alrighty, hello everyone, and welcome to everybody's favourite part of these videos, the tour. Um, yet again, I'm going to be by myself for this one, so bear with me. Um, as you can see, me and Doge, when we were building this, we realised it wouldn't really be beneficial to build upwards and continue the outside as you will never see it at all in the build. So we've just left that out and we're just going to completely skip past that. So, welcome to the entrance room, which is a, something pretty cool that I like that Doge did, is he made all of the lights work, pretty much. So with this switch, you turn on all the lights in this front room. I'm gonna keep the lights on though because the bitrate will die. Anyway, so in here we have just some basic lockers, draw lockers, lockers, striker, drawers. Uh, we have drawers, bookshelves, just your basic things that you'd have at the very entrance. Some nice fairy lights. Uh, we're gonna move into the kitchen, which I've tried to keep this as grounded as an actual house as possible, and. I think it turned out really well. Everyone else I've talked to thinks it turned out really well. So here we have the kitchen. We've got ourselves a nice little dining area. So on countertops, kitchen island. Got ourselves a cookie gel. Okay, wait, can I not put anything in there? How strange. Anyway, moving on. We have the living room, which I figured, um, <laughs> I figured uh, William Afton is quite the drinker. He has had his wife leave him. He's had most of his children die. I, I wouldn't blame him, to be honest. Uh, but we're going to do the lights in here, too. They all have the same thing, and they turn on in order of how far they are from the light, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, so that's the living room. We're going to go upstairs now to the main Planet Freddy's 4 area. This is the area you might recognize. So starting off, we have Plush Traps Hall. So you'd be stood here in the minigame and you'd obviously flash your light onto the cross, see if plush traps there or not, see if you've won, got your two hour time skip. So as I said during the plush traps hall segment, I do believe that all of these would be just spare bedrooms for the Afton family. And that is what I've decided to do. I was going to make these two be kind of like storage closet rooms and then have these two be bedrooms. 
but I figured I'd just make them all bedrooms and that kind of stuck during the building process. I've added those lights up there just to make, I don't think they're gonna, they do very much, they're not very good lights. I don't even know if they're actually turned on to be honest, so let's just, yeah they are turned, they, they are turned on, if I get rid of it, it gets darker. Yeah this is, that's really, really sad, these lights are so pathetic, but, uh, we're gonna we're gonna turn on the hallway lights. So we got our massive grandfather clock, which is one of the most well detailed parts of this build. I definitely didn't have it off Google at all. Oh, when I was reshaping the halls. If you did see me build this live on stream, you might remember the hallways used to be much, much wider. But I thought in the actual game, it's much more of a cramped hallway. And the same with the bedroom, which is now also smaller. We'll look at that in a second. Look at Nightmare Bonnie's beautiful handlebar moustache. Like, that took years of grooming, man. Look at that. Actually, they might be whiskers. I think they're whiskers. I think I'm just stupid. Anyway, turn these lights on. Here we have Nightmare Freddy, who, unlike the other Nightmares, looks a bit weird. Uh, Nightmare Foxy, in his closet as usual. I was debating whether to put Nightmare Foxy or Nightmare Mangle here, but I decided on Nightmare Foxy because he's like the base game version. We got like the toys around the room, the drawers, we got Nightmare Chica outside with the weird looking beak. I see her face. See? She's got a weird looking beak. And then this hallway is pretty much the same as the other one, and it's just got some different design choices on it. Like, I think that, yeah, this one has a little seating area and a bookshelf for that on the end. This one, the seating area is much higher up the hallway and it's obviously more bland down there. I was thinking of adding more picture frames down there, but there isn't really any. I enjoy more building the areas that you can't see in this game. Because it allows me to go more all out with designing the house. I love houses. They're always a good bit of fun to build. Like, areas you can see in the game, you're pretty much stuck to a blueprint, because you actually see it. But then places like this hallway here, you'll never see, but you know it's there. You can design exactly how you want it. And then obviously, the plush traps hall, you have to design in a certain way. But I've added these, so it's not just a blank hallway with a chair at the end. As much as that would be more game accurate, I thought this would look a bit nicer. And then you got, obviously, the different rooms that are all completely designed. So, that has been all for the FNAF 4 build. I do have some things to talk to you about at the very end though, so do make sure to stick around. If you want this map, you can get it on my Kofi page in a FNAF 4 bundle. You will get access to Fredbear's Family Diner, well, the world from the last video, the world from this video, and then the stream version of this world, and the actual stream version of the Fredbear's Family Diner build too. So you're getting four worlds and I, I believe it's like a quid. I've tried to, I've made it as physically cheap as it lets me do it. So if you did enjoy, like and subscribe and stick around. Okay and that's been another FNAF build over and done with but I have some announcements before we finish up here today. First of all the next gameplay series here on the channel will be FNAF Help Wanted 2 as I finally managed to set up my VR to record which took a lot longer than it should have and episode 1 should be up next week. Also the FNAF at the time series that we started a few weeks back should be getting its second installment in February as the plan for my series calendar like FNAF in Minecraft and FNAF at the time is to do one every single month so I don't don't oversaturate it as we did last time in the Fred Bears video. Here's your teaser for where we are going next. Get ready for some ice cream, everyone. But that is all from me tonight. If you did enjoy your time here, make sure to like and subscribe as well as drop a comment below on where we go after sister location. I am open to either FNAF World or Vanessa at Freddy's security breach, which will both be very big projects for me. But yeah, have a great day or night, everyone, and I'll see you all later.